member of the Knesset between 1973 and 1992, and again from 1999 until 2003. He served as a Minister of Defense three times, and once as a Minister of Foreign Affairs. Mr. Arons has also served as an Israeli ambassador to the United States and was professor at the Technion in Haifa. Okay, we came to a very important part. Uh, I'm talking about uh, Professor Misha Arens, who was my forefather as the uh, Air Force Commander in Israel. And together we did the first steps of uh, building the whole, what we're talking today, the whole defense uh, system. He uh, envisioned it. He, uh, in a way, you could call him the prophet of the system. And at least he made the first step to what today we have. Uh, we would like to... Uh, please. משה ארץ בהוקרה, מורה, מהנדס, שר ביטחון ומנהיג בישראל על תרומתו הייחודית להתנעתה והקמתה של יכולת ההגנה בפני טילים של מדינת ישראל, חזונו ואמונתו ביכולתה של הקהילה הטכנולוגית הישראלית, סללו את הדרך להישגים ללא תקדים להגנת תושבי מדינת המדינה מפני טילים ורקטות. אז בבקשה. the monument. <laughs> in, tribute to, in tribute to Moshe Arlenz for his vision, faith, and contribution to the development and deployment of Israel's Missile Defense Shield, Israeli Missile Defense Association, June 2016. much for uh, giving me this recognition this morning. I'm not sure that I really deserve it, considering my modest contribution to uh, missile defense. I inevitably think back uh, 16 years ago, during the first Gulf War, when I was Minister of Defense, and uh, Scud missiles launched from western Iraq began hitting Israel. And there was nothing we could do to stop them. These were, at the time, the Soviet versions of the German V-2 rockets that hit uh, London at the tail end of World War II. Uh, the only action that seemed uh, in the realm of possibility was going after the launchers. The Allied Air Forces took upon themselves the task of going after the uh, Scud launchers but they were unable to locate them, and so obviously they were also unable to hit them. We took about uh, 39 hits at the time and sat back helplessly as they landed in Israel. And engineers like myself 
had, uh, during those years, gone through the calculations and had proved to themselves that intercepting a missile in mid-flight was not in the realm of possibility. And I took a man who was not an engineer, President Ronald Reagan, to have the vision and to feel the need and the necessity for missile defense to come to the recognition that what was called mutual assured destruction, the uh, reticence from launching missiles from west to east or east to west in cognizance of the retaliation of missiles being launched in the other direction, that that was not a sufficiently stable situation on which the future of humanity could be based and he launched what was then called uh, Star Wars. It seemed like it was in the realm of fantasy. And along came some engineers and showed that it was not in the realm of fantasy and could be done. And first and foremost, of course, known to all of the Israelis here, was the Dov Raviv, who ran through the calculations. much more deserving than I to receive your recognition. A former student of mine and uh, was also on my team at Israel Aircraft Industries, and he had the courage and the daring to uh, submit a proposal to the Star Wars program, and the proposal was accepted. Another man who deserves credit for missile defense is uh, my former successor and predecessor at the Ministry of Defense, Yitzhak Rabin, who was not a great supporter of Israeli development. He was a great believer in the acquisition of weapon systems abroad. But uh, he was enthusiastic about the Arrow program. He was enthusiastic about U.S.-Israeli cooperation on that program. He gave it his full backing and actually as defense minister when I Returned to the ministry in 92, I inherited the program from him. I gave it my full backing and uh, we succeeded in launching it on a trajectory that brought it to the present stage. So we have now Arrow and Iron Dome and uh, David Sling and many other programs, of course, in, uh, in the West. We've come a long way and uh, I think we still have some ways to go. In this business, 90% is not enough. We're looking for 100%. Thank you very much.